Hello, my name is Jim Sveznik. I'm a quality assurance engineer with an ONTEP engineering. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the user experience for the automatic update feature available in ONTEP. Automatic update can be enabled and managed through System Manager. On the System Manager dashboard in the health card, ONTAP will suggest recommended actions intended to keep the storage system performing optimally. Here we can see that we have one recommended action, which is to enable automatic update. I'll click Actions Enable. I'm presented with a pop-up notification that tells me a little more about the feature. It notes that the default behavior is to automatically download and install recommended updates as they're made available by NetApp. At the bottom half of the card, we have the ability to change that default behavior for each of the content types supported by ONTAP. Introduced in ONTAP 9.10.1 is support for storage firmware updates for disks and disk shelves and SPBMC firmware updates. Introduced in ONTAP 9.13.1 is support for system files, which currently consists of ONTAP time zone database updates. For each of these, the user can change the default behavior from automatically update to show notifications, which will present a notification when an update is available, or automatically dismiss, which will automatically disregard updates for that content type. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to set storage firmware to show notifications. I'll leave SPBMC and system files at automatic. We also have terms and conditions for automatic update that were written by NetApp Legal to cover the use case of ongoing automatic updates over time. It includes a link to the full terms and conditions hosted at netapp.com. To enable automatic update, the user must check this box to accept those terms and conditions. In doing so, ONTAP will audit the date and time, IP address, and storage administrator account that enabled the feature, and that's transmitted back to NetApp over auto support. Update notifications are also transmitted to ONTAP clusters over the auto support communication channel. Here we can see that we have two notifications for storage firmware updates. This is because I set the default behavior for storage firmware to show notifications. For each of these notifications, we have the option to update, which will immediately download and install that particular update, schedule to schedule this for a future date and time, dismiss to clear this notification and ignore that update, or view updates will take me to a full list of updates presented to this system. Let's go ahead and click update to initiate the update for this shell firmware module. We can see we receive a confirmation asking us if we want to continue. And when I click update, we get a notification that that particular update has been initiated. It includes a link that'll take us to that full list of updates that's been presented to this cluster. When I click that, you'll see that we not only have the shelf and disk firmware updates for which we receive notifications, but we also have a SPBMC firmware update that has automatically applied due to the content category being set to automatically update. And the same for the time zone database that's part of the system files category. The shelf firmware update that I just initiated has been downloaded and applied. The disk firmware update is still pending confirmation. Let's assume that we have a scheduled maintenance window two weeks from now, and during which we want to install this disk firmware update. I can click schedule and using the calendar picker, pick that future date and time and click save. And now we see that this particular update is scheduled to be installed on Saturday, May 13th at 1 a.m. If that maintenance window were to change, we can edit that schedule and bump it out an additional week. Or we can cancel that schedule altogether, which will place that update back into a pending confirmation state, giving us the same options that we had originally. If I were to dismiss an update, and that was a mistake, or I changed my mind, I have the ability to undismiss that update, which again places it back into pending confirmation giving me the original options to update, schedule, or dismiss. Here I'll click Update to initiate the disk firmware update. And we see that our status is now applying with a start time. And the end time and status message will be populated when that completes. For each of these updates, ONTAP also records an EMS message, which the customer can monitor through their event management system. 
This concludes this demonstration of the automatic update feature available in OMTAP.